I'm John Fain. I'm John Fain. I'm John Fain. Good morning. I'm John Fain in the Melbourne ABC studios. I'm I'm not a great one for going back and you know digging into my own entrails or examining my own droppings. I don't do that. I haven't gone back to listen to old shows. I uh, have recently, just because I'm finishing, I've had to watch some archival footage of myself and there's things there I don't even remember doing them. I don't remember the interviews, I don't remember the event, but I mean that's kind of funny. And when you've been interviewing sometimes between 10 and 15 people a day, five days a week for 23 years, you can't remember everything that you've done. And then there was some years on television with the investigators and Wise Up. Hey, get out of there, I'm busy. Get out of there. Hello and welcome to Wise Up, a series about young people and the law. I'm John Fain and hey, even the big boys had to start somewhere. Hey, get out of there, get out of there. It was Radio National and even before that I was in the media when I was at Fitzroy Legal Service and I, I don't even rem remember half the stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been, I, I never set out to do this as a career. It just sort of accidentally happened. And I look back on it now and go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that was funny, that was weird. And if only I'd known what I know now, back then I probably would have done things quite differently. I've been ridiculously lucky and I cannot believe that I've been able to sit and chew the fat with John Cleese. I mean, you know, I grew up as a Monty Python fan and I've had Eric Idle, John Cleese and Michael Palin. I mean, just outrageous stuff. And those are the celebrities, the sports stars, your heroes, James Taylor, Katie Lang, Jane Fonda, and you just, it's mind blowing. And then you, you counter that with what are probably not as much fun, but more important, holding power to account. The ALP's Daniel Andrews and the Liberal National Coalition's leader Matthew Guy join me this morning. Morning John, very good to be here John. Let's get down to it, short and direct answers please and any tendency <laughs> to long-windedness other than on my part will be dealt with sharply. But to me the really important thing is doing things like the, the people who are devastated by bushfire and making a promise to them that will be there for you, not just to kind of pick over the story while it's exciting, but we're there for you for the long haul and to form those relationships that's been utterly precious. I suppose the category of least favourite are the politicians who think they can bullshit and spin and duck and weave and we're not going to notice. And you know, I think the record I've got is for seven times repeating the question before getting an answer. Uh, uh, yes, I, I did start an interview with Tony Abbott saying, how come for a Rhodes Scholar and such a smart man you say so many stupid things? And he had said a whole lot of stupid things. And that is I guess what I thought the well-informed listener might, may have been thinking, and it became a headline, as did The Wink, as did Malcolm Turnbull. You know, I asked him about housing affordability and he said, well, a man of your means, you should be buying your kids a house. And thank goodness I had the wherewithal to say, well, that's hardly a housing policy, Prime Minister, the bank of mum and dad. And, and moments like that, not exclusively conservatives, but moments like that, just they just come along and you, you grab them. I'm ringing on behalf of Billy and Billy's been picked up. We just saw him get thrown into the back of a divvy van. Well, it's happening, tomorrow. it's happening already. Um, we're talking about market forces at work. Heaps of things I would have done differently. Um, and if you think, looking back over 30 years at the ABC, that everything you've done has been just sweet, you're kidding yourself. In fact, in any job, if you behave like that, you're kidding yourself. And having self-doubt, being your own harshest critic, when I think that's really valuable and it's really important. Holding yourself to the same standards you require of other people, I think is just part of the, the authenticity of the role. If the public are gonna trust you, if they're gonna bother listening to you, you've gotta give them that level of, of honesty.